Yo, 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 it's Nimue Ohai Kaliber, also known as Night Spider Goha. Here I am introducing this work of art that, you know, is purely for me. I'm going to call it The Dragon Stone of Nimue Ohai Kaliber, or Night Spider Goha. Um, yes, it's, it's a rare beauty. I've been making it in secret. And um, here it is. It looks like it's been um, forged in fire. But, I mean, I suppose it probably has. Um, I've taken my fingers off doing this. Well, the skin. So, a bit of a nightmare. Um, but this isn't the finished piece. This is like what I've done in secret. You know, this is like just the beginning. It is, and all I've got left in the very end is like one face, basically. But the video is so lengthy, and I took the skin off my fingers with a diamond file. That honestly, just holding the stone hurts. But I'll I'll do the last video. Like when when the skin on my fingers heals, when when it heals, um, yeah, I'm I'm just outlining here that it, at this point it was like rounded on one side and triangular on the other, like um, it was really, I didn't I didn't like fucked up. I just clearly had done one side but not the other, so um, just outlining what I was attempting to correct. And um, when you change one edge on a shape, it affects the other edge if you're going to make it, um, like if you're going to plane it off, it affects the, um, the neighbouring edge basically, which can affect a chunk of the stone. Um, like a few, a few millimetres of angle on one degree far out down the line it, it can take off like a lot more yeah, I suppose it'd be times by itself you know there'd be a formula for it um so off I go filing away and um every now and then I'll have a little chit chat in it So um here I've I've I'll show you some progress in it. You know 
what I've done so far. I've made it a bit, a bit more jewel shaped, tear, teardrop shaped, if you like. So here we are again with a bit more progress. My hands are black as death. You know, but um better than bloody as hell. But here we go, it's just, uh, just a bit more jam shaped, a bit more spear shaped almost, you know. I, I look at these jams a lot and I think, mm, yeah, they look beautiful, but then again they could be inverted into into it's almost like arrowheads a lot of them. You know, perfectly, perfectly made to travel through the air, in in a way, you know. But but whatever, it's jewelry. We'll 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 stick to that, and it sells well. Um. So off we go filing again. We'll put on different music this time. It's still my own. In a way, it's half somebody else's as well. But we'll probably get back into collaborating anyway. You know, you don't want to kick up a temper. You just got to do it free flowing. It doesn't matter if you start it, nobody's perfect. I just don't know how to Okay, well, you know, look at our government. Sure. Have they ever done anything good for us? Think of one thing. Not one thing. I fucking say about every day. What's their mission in life? As far as you know. To make the human race a slave population. What's their mission for our soldiers? To kill them. To kill everyone else. To kill everyone else. Why? I 
on my dear nation. Like a slave race. Yeah. Tax every one bit. Just to show who's in power. Yeah, just to show who's making the rules. So, so who did I go on my work for? That's a deep one, man. That's side. Do they work for us or do they work for Trump? No, no, this is where I'm going to stop you, right? Trump is the government, right? Our government's the government. All of them are the government, right? But they all fucking work for that under society, right? You know, it's nothing to do with us. We're just, we're just puppets. When America bombed fucking Hiroshima, why that was? Why? Because they wouldn't surrender. So they hit them with a nuclear bomb. Is that justice? No. That's, that's not. If they ever taken Al Capone's kids off. Have you ever heard of it being in the news that some really bad gangster murdering rapist piece of shit is that their kids taken off them by social services? What sort of people get their kids taken off them? People that struggle in life. Yeah. Not bad people. People that are struggling in life, that are trying, but, you know, social services are like, ah, oh, you're struggling. Yeah, you know, we're going to take your kids off you to make you worse off. Did Michael but, Jackson get his kids taken off of you? No. You know, if somebody is, you know, raping their child and beating their child, right, and they're still going to school, but they've got a job, they're fine, they get to keep their kids, and then their kids grow up with, you know, trauma, but... You know, if you're just trying to, just trying to actually live your life and you're a bit poor and maybe you're a bit depressed or your mum's a bit depressed, she hasn't got a job, they think nothing of her because she's not slaving to society. If, uh, if a fucking celebrity is taking drugs, do they take their kids off them? No. If a normal person is taking drugs, do they take their kids off them? No. Aha. So that song's proper emotional, but, you know, it's a truth, it's all true, and it's true the truth hurts, but, you know, in this day and age, it's, we got to pay attention to shit that goes on, it's, it's terrible the way the world is, um, and, you know, really, the powers that be, the you know, the services, <laughs> like, we shouldn't have to teach each other trade skills after school, you know, school is more like thought control, so that your parents, they can't really indoctrinate anything on you, you the school trumps that, always, and, and the politics of, like, school edu- education, they're not absolute. You know, every time the law changes, so too does the politics of societal behaviour, expectations, and it's um that's not what school is even meant to be about. It's just, it's meant to be about giving your kids the right to education, like so that they're prepared for the adult life. But you know, if that was the case, I wouldn't have learned ship restoration in my twenties, and I wouldn't have learned. Like, the gemstones by accident, really, you know, by pure chance. You know, a lot of trades in this country, you either got to know people or, you know, you got to beg or you got to be the right stature and this and that, right? And, and really, it should just be forced upon kids, you know, like um, <laughs> like good manners, basically. <laughs> You know, and and there should be no excuse for somebody not being able to be self sufficient by the age of being an adult. If if we pay tax to our government, and they can make their soldiers self sufficient in the field, no matter how deranged they are to begin with or delinquent, for legal terms, if you like, then they they've got no excuse except to remove power from us to. Not if they don't empower us, then they leave us powerless. Really, they leave us dependent on a system that's broken. 
or each other. And, and really, if you put rats in a system that doesn't work, they'll either dominate each other or, or they'll kill each other. And it, it wouldn't matter what animal you put in a system like that. Uh, that's exactly what will happen. It's, it's textbook. You know, but um, obviously, if we all fight with each other, then we do their dirty work for them, in a way. You know, even even gangland, even the most stupid scally is aware of basic schoolyard mentality of how to control people or, you know, make them do what you want them to do. It's, it's you know, it's, it's not even an adult trick. Anyway, so here's my stone here. You know, halfway through the video. It's, it's, it's not done, it's not perfect yet. But, you know, we're getting there. It's, it's looking more beautiful. The light's traveling through it a lot better, you know. Which is, um... And my mate was saying to me, would they put on a necklace? I was thinking, mm, yeah, probably, because necklaces are easier to um, look after. More more um, symbolic, in a way. Uh, closer to the heart and all that. And um, a ring is inclined to break, because it's a ring, and you use your hands the most and all that. You know, especially me, I, 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 you know, if I have a ring, it, it'd have to be indestructible, really, if, if it was going to be precious. So, um, I use light a lot, I mean, it would be better if I had my laser pen, but it's broken, and I can't find the pieces, because I like to jewelry rig things a lot, like, if something's broken, I'll make it work, but, um... Generally not well electrics, like, but if it's low level electrics, like ampage in that, it, it don't really matter, you know. Um, I wouldn't mess with my house electrics, though. But the little devices in that, yeah, I should be alright. <laughs> and, and if I'm not, you know, I'll probably laugh about it, because, um, yeah, I seem to be immune to quite a lot. I, I get in pain in that, but I, I've, I'm so accident prone, it's funny. Um, so yeah, I'm like getting along with the shape, and, and the worst thing about it is, you know, I can either make it perfect or I can go too far, you know, and um, if you go too far then you have to reshape the stone and, and basically try again. Um, it's, it is, it's a bit of, it's, it's like such a, such a precision craft at this point that it's really not enjoyable, you know, and, and then it makes you think uh, all the weeks or months of work could pale into pure insignificance just because of like one miss movement of your hand or you know somebody knocks at your door or <laughs> nah but uh, I'm usually alright for distractions I've usually got my hand semi resting on it but not quite uh, it's almost like a spring action so I can take it off but yeah, uh, it's 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 a discipline. Got got to be disciplined to do it. So honestly, I don't know. I was gonna clip this out, this little red light thing, but uh, I mean, maybe there's there's a point in this red light. It may be, even though it's pointless, but it might demonstrate that some lights are better than other lights to show up the beauty of a stone or its its um fractures or the way light travels through it some light doesn't travel as well as other light so like my laser pen that goes on for like 10 miles that 
has the capacity to travel for 10 miles in the blink of an eye. So that travels quite well. That's good for going through gemstones. This one, it's it's just the light is, is too, I don't know, it seems like smoggy in a way, too concentrated. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. I suppose I'd have to look into the science of light, but it, 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 it confuses me a lot more than gems, to be fair. Um, but with this one, it, maybe it's not so bright that it's blinding, and then you can't see the iron within it. And, and it's even good for using on a camera to show this this um, optic display. <laughs> yeah, thinking of words there. You know, it's it's like doing videos. You're always on the spot in a way. You know, it's um, really demanding of confidence and um all that shit you know and and in a lot to be you know i'm scottish so you know it's it's natural for me to swear but when i'm doing videos and that it makes me really conscious of how much i do swear and and why i swear <laughs> like if um i struggle with words and whatnot and um i think ooh uh, I'm going to mess my video up, basically. So then I end up swearing and it's a bit self-defeating because it, it means I can't put it on certain platforms as well. Like I'm restricted from the platforms I can put it on. <laughs> so it is a bit of a nightmare. So I, I'm going to try and like look into maybe like changing my words. Like, to me, I'll still be swearing, but I won't be like, you know, I, I, instead of saying F off, I might say footpath, you know, and then people could know I'm swearing at them, but it's okay, <laughs> you know, um, you know, or like bananas and that, but you know, if my mates have got kids and that, then I've, that's the sort of things we've got to do anyway around them, so it's it's not even silly, it's just clever in a way you know and and yeah yeah I don't, I don't like just off the cuffs like swearing you know mm. yep anyhow I don't know much of this video left so I'll give you a bit of, a bit of happy tune instead for a bit <laughs> So here we're at the end of my video and um yeah I've literally I've filed the skin off of my finger. Um this would be called my precision finger because I always do it. It's it's the same finger over and over. My mum says to me, why don't you do your gems like and make money? I'm like, mum, because, you know, I file my fingers off and it hurts. And she's like, why don't you wear gloves? I'm like, because it's at the it's at the end. I need to be able to feel things perfectly, you know. But so it's not the end end. It's not finished completely perfectly, but this side's finished. And then the reverse side is I haven't touched because... I filed my finger off, you know, so when it heals, I'll finish the video. And um, this stone is called the Signature Jewel, the, dra that's it. the Dragonstone Signature Jewel of Nimue o High Caliber or Night Spider. So, 
Yeah, so now it's all crystalline, beautiful, almost ice-like, as opposed to before it was pretty. See the light pissing through it, like that, like heaven, you know, but, yeah. So, uh, you know, the, even, even the iron oxidization in it, to me, you know, it just, it just gives it a, almost a Jurassic barn and fire type look, you know, as it smokes off from like a black sooty, you know, forged in fire, iron. Um, I would probably embed it in a pendant, but, you know, I'd have to, I'd have to be able to have light coming through it. And so maybe not embed it, I maybe put it in a claw. And um, maybe not hanging down like a tear, but horizontally so that the light can pour through the part that, um, the part that goes like heaven. This is how much it weighs, this is its carat weight. 29 and then f nearly 6 grams it weighs. This is the original rocks when they were smashed from one rock. Triangular pieces that come off it. You can follow me on Facebook if you want. <laughs> um, there's my name. And this is a larger chunk piece. Um, you got to take it from different angles because it wasn't... It wasn't like long shot, it was portrait shot. So this is what the stone looked like originally after I hit it, you know, after I originally broke it the one time. There's a lot of small pieces that come with this. And um, I'll show you them in a minute as well. So even the clear pieces, it's like pure ice I got from the center of this, you know. Yeah, uh, it was probably one of the smaller pieces, to be fair. But it, it's come from the center. Um. So that's just the uh, how it looked to me when I first found it. These are the smaller pieces, but not the smallest. Um, I separated them by color, because, you know, obviously it's professional. These are the smaller pieces. So when I say I've got hundreds if not thousands of gems I'm not even messing but um yeah I do I do like to gift out gems and um every hundred followers subscribers commenters and likers and all that you know you can earn yourself a free gem you can claim it if you want and I'll craft it for you I'll name it after you um to your expectations and so forth and I'll put it on YouTube and every other platform.